If you can get a, a seller to kind of open up with their assumptions about their clientele and you can get the buyer to do the same, then they're they're looking at this and they're saying, okay, well, what is true at these these clients and what um, what do they really need? If they don't just need this accountant, but they, well, what do they need? They need somebody to do the year end for their business. They need actually a whole lot of other things. And I think yeah. that leads in a business development direction where on the buyer side, if I can have a buyer, like if I were to have a discussion with the buyer, I'd say you spend that first year learning what your clients really need, because it's not always what the accountant thinks. I don't know. I, I reflect on this myself because like time savings, for example, I mean, I'm busy from day to day with things. If my accountant can help me understand something that's going to save me time, I'm happy to pay for that. And I think mm -hmm. there are clients that are happy to pay for more, you know, and it's not just services. There are different kinds of things and each client's going to be a little different. Yeah. And, and going back to assumptions with that, mm -hmm. like I've been around enough business owners where they sort of are assuming their accountant should be looking after certain things in their business and should be bringing certain things to their attention and it's not happening. And then they get frustrated. And, you know, I've had conversations with business owners and like, well, your, your accountant is a tax person. And, mm -hmm. and you probably, if you want these kinds of services, unfortunately, it's not likely going to be offered to you where you are. You're going to have to go and find someone that's going to, offer that sort of service mm -hmm. and understands what your needs are. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, I think sometimes the sellers can have assumptions about their clients that are just totally wrong. And a mm -hmm. buyer can come in, a buyer can come in and make a lot of improvements in the practice because that buyer is not going to operate under those assumptions. Mm -hmm. For example, pricing is a great is a great example. I've mm -hmm. had conversations with a lot of sellers that say, "Oh, I can't, I can't possibly increase my prices. People will leave." And then I'll have a buyer come in, and one of the first things they do is increase some of the pricing, and they have no problem at all. But they're they're also right. changing some of the offerings. And um, we had we had one buyer who basically created a packaged pricing offering and grew the practice like two or three times in the first year. I mean, it was just mm -hmm. amazing growth because they just repackaged things and repackaged the offerings. Um, but I agree with you. It's, it's, there aren't a lot of firms out there doing that. Mm -hmm.